How's it going everyone? It's Gadgets Boy. Welcome to another video. And in this one, we're going to be unboxing a couple of things. So next gen gaming console, the brand new Sony PlayStation 5 and also a Sony Bravia uh, TV. So I've got the XH90, which has 4K HDR, uh, full array LED, which is brilliant. It delivers stunning contrast, vibrancy, saturation, the whole lot just looks beautiful. And it's 120 hertz refresh rate as well. So it's perfect for the next generation of gaming experience as well. And uh, many more things which I talk through as we unbox it and show you what the TV is about as well. But first, let's have a look at that Sony PlayStation 5 and this thing is uh, its actually beautiful and it's big. Look at the size of that. <laughs> but yeah, let's see what you get in the box. So in the box itself, you get six things. So you get the console itself, which you just take out the packaging. The box looks very clean, very Sony PlayStation-like. And then in the box, like I said, you get the console and then you get some paperwork as well. So your warranty information, user guide, user guide, so you get set up nice and quickly. You've also got a stand plate as well. So this allows you to lay it flat on its side because this thing is big. So if you don't have a space for it to have it horizontal, you can have it vertical laying down, which is acceptable. You also get your controller as well. So you get the new DualShock controller, which I'll talk more about in a bit. It looks fantastic. I really like it. Uh, it feels nicer as well. Ergonomic uh, feels really nice. And you also get your HDMI cable in, in there as well. So this is fast HDMI 2.1 cable. So high speed HDMI cable. Make sure you use this one if you want to take advantage of that uh, 4K 120 frames per second gaming. And then furthermore, you get to your power pack as well. So power plug, there's no brick in the middle in this one. It's just a nice kettle lead. So just plug it in and you're good to go. For the XH90 TV, so this is a Bravia engine TV. So again, you get X1 processor in there for fantastic uh, vibrancy and sharp details, LED as well, full array, 4K HDR LED TV here. Looks fantastic in 65 inches as well. It's huge, but again, for that level of immersion, it's just a perfect size for me. Anything bigger than this, I'm gonna need a bigger house. Elsewhere, you also get a very low input lag as well, 7.2 milliseconds. And with the, with the Bravia gaming mode, you have two things that this thing can do. It means you can quickly power in your TV and your gaming console with just a touch of a button very quickly. That's something you want to do. So instant on kind of style thing, you just press it and you're good to go. And I've been calling it controller DualShock because it's actually DualSense controller, but ah, meh, they look good and it works really well. In fact, if you guys want to know more about this, this controller and what it's capable of, I love the video from Dave2D, so I'll leave the links to that in the description area. So do check it out. Uh, it's actually fantastic. Sort of details what the vibration level is in this one. It's sensational. It's just better immersive as well when you're gaming as well. But check it out. It, it explains it in a lot more detail than uh, I can probably explain. On the console itself, so you get your power ports on the back. You got HDMI port. Uh, you got your LAN ports as well. So if you want to connect it using the Ethernet cable, you can do so. And you get two USB 3 ports on the back as well for fast data transfer. So if you're going to be recording to an external drive, uh, your gaming session, for example, this is good for that. So it's very quick and it reads it very quickly. You also get that. Uh, K lock on the back as well if you want to lock it down for whatever reason. And I just like the design of the console. Um, it's big, but that aside, I like the design. This level of detail on there as well, like those tiny little uh, Sony PlayStation logos just embedded in there as well. And it gives a lot of space, a lot of white space for you to uh, um, sort of customize this if you want to customize it as well. And on the front, you have a USB port. Uh, you have one uh, USB-C port as well for charging your controller if you want to do so. You've got your power, power uh, button and your C uh, CD ejector. Uh, button as well. I was about to say it's an ejector then. And then you've got your uh, CD trace if you want to still play your compact disc, you can do so. There's also a digital only version as well, which I haven't seen yet, but once that come out, you'll be missing that uh, CD port uh, on the front there. So there will not be, there will not be uh, the optical drive there for you to put your CDs or DVDs or uh, Blu-ray disc if people are still watching that these days. Uh, the front is very much of a fingerprint magnet as well, but again, I, I guess once you put it on there, uh, on your shelf or whatever you want to put it, you're not gonna be touching the console very often to have fingerprints all over it. So that's not much of a problem for me at all. But yeah, back to that size, it's very big. But there's a lot of heat uh, dissipation area, both on the bottom and on the side around where the, uh, on the back, sorry, where the power cable goes into and all that stuff. So again, on the front as well, just all around it, just allowing the heat to dissipate very easily. So we hope that this doesn't get hot, uh, but that's something I can try out later on and measure the heat and all that kind of stuff. I think Dave, Dave, uh, 2D also check the heat as well, so it doesn't really get too hot from his tests, but 
we'll check that out later later on so nine things that the ps5 really offers you in terms of next gen gaming experiences are we have ultra high speed ssd in there so again just maximizing your play sessions with that with that instant load time so that's what allows that to, to do that so it loads up instantaneously so again you don't have to wait around with those integrated input output uh, ports on the back you can like i said you can easily plug in your ssd your external drive and capture data very quickly no problems at all when gaming you get ray tracing for that realism so again you get to see the shadows the reflections it just looks more realistic when gaming as well next we have that 4k tv gaming so again like if you have that 4k tv like myself if you manage to get one with uh, hdmi 2.1 on the back as well as that uh, 120 frames per seconds capabilities it just means you'll be able to enjoy that full next gen gaming experience it doesn't just stop at that 120 hertz refresh rate though you also get hdr gaming as well something i'm really looking forward to trying out uh, again you would need a TV that supports that. You get Tempest 3D audio tech, so this allows that level of immersion. Uh, so it feels as if the sound's coming from every direction when you're gaming as well. So whether it's through your headphones or TV speakers or your surround sound, uh, you get that surroundings that truly come alive. You get that audio level that uh, you expect from a next gen kind of gaming console. And then you get a haptic feedback on the controller, the DualSense controller, uh, which just feels fantastic again watch that dev 2d video it will explain that more in a lot more detail than i probably could with adaptive triggers you get uh, dynamic resistance levels so which it sort of simulates the physical impact in games so when you're playing uh, certain games as soon as you're pressing you feel the level of impact as you're pressing it that's something that's really advanced in fact this kind of edges the xbox uh, series x controllers with that sort of level of experience that you get with this dual sense uh, dual sense controllers on the ps5 so that's it for the sony playstation 5 and the bravia tv the xh90 guys let me know what you think in the comments below if you have any questions as well do drop them there let me know and if you guys want to play with me online as well let me know what your uh, gaming tags are in the comments as well we'll add each other and play online uh, but in the meantime if this is your first time on the channel please do subscribe and share it as well and uh, hit that bell notification so you'll be one of the first people to know every time there's a new video up on the channel Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.